Real ones know George Roll Mo, aka the original Pretty Tony, the original Pretty Mo. Welcome back to the show. And while I'm mad, let's get right into this Triple G Gennady Golovkin versus Camille Says Meta fight that took place on Friday night. Triple G, I think he got like a seventh round corner stoppage. He knocked the guy down about four or five times. Um, uh, the guy, I, I can't really say if he looked good or not because the guy had about 21 or 22 fights. He had a loss already on his record and he only had five knockouts. So that tells us that he doesn't have much power coming behind those punches and we never heard of him. So we don't know what class of fighter. I would say he's a C or D class fighter. Pause. And um, we didn't get much from that fight. It was a terrible fight. Triple G consistently fights guys we never heard of and guys who are non-contenders and guys who aren't competitive, guys who haven't proven themselves consistently. Um, Triple G to me is a, um, he's a flash in the pan type guy. He fought a lot of guys past their primes or guys who weren't, who weren't of a certain level or class. And he made his name off of stopping those guys. And he got this boogeyman, he got this boogeyman tag. And he hadn't done anything. He really hadn't done anything in the sport of boxing. His last fight was against Sergey Dervinchenko, which most boxing enthusiasts, most real unbiased, hardcore boxing fans felt like he lost. Prior to that, he fought Steve Rose. Most, again, boxing enthusiasts, hardcore boxing fans, weren't familiar with Steve Rose. He beat him. He, he stopped him. But that guy, I think he had 19 fights with 10 KOs. You know, he's not of that level. The fight prior to that was against Saul Canelo Alvarez. He lost that fight. I felt like he lost the fight. He lost it on the majority decision. I felt like he lost both of the fights against Canelo. The fight prior to that, he fought Vonis Matarosian, a guy who hadn't fought in two years prior to that fight, and he was coming up from 154. And then the first Canelo fight, the fight prior to that was the Danny Jacobs fight. That was his real first competition, comp competitive fight. And once again, most people who are unbiased felt like Danny got the fight, seven to five. Or uh, whether it be six to five or whatever, seven to five, seven rounds to five, uh, Triple G got a knockdown. <clears throat> and I think maybe the first or second round. But most unbiased boxing fans felt like Danny got that fight. So really, his legacy, we can't really compare him to a Bernard Hopkins who fought the best going up and down in weight. Triple G's been at 160 his entire career, and he has chased smaller fighters he went and fought Kell Brook a 147 pounder and made him come up to 160 that's not proving anything to us and he was getting outboxed you you know he you got the win over the guy you know you hurt his eye but the corner stopped the fight but you were getting outboxed by the guy you couldn't really put him down he's dodged the Charlos Demetrius Andre, Andre Ward offered to meet him at a catch weight. He didn't want that. He, he's chased small Canelo. Canelo had been fighting at a smaller weight. He's chased, he chased him. He's still chasing the third fight with Canelo. I mean, he doesn't want to test himself. He doesn't want to go up. Triple G, he's he was he's very overrated. I knew it then. You could see it. He wasn't that skilled and he wasn't, you can see he he has some, he's a hard puncher. He has some power, but you could tell that these guys he was fighting weren't of that of that class. He wasn't fighting any guys of that caliber. So as soon as he took and started fighting guys that's of, the, of that class and of that caliber, the, the upper echelon in that particular weight class, he hasn't been getting any knockouts against these guys. He hasn't been getting knockdowns except the one knockdown against uh well he knocked down 
uh, Derek Vincenco. <clears throat> but Derek Vincenco, he gets knocked down. You know, he he do, he gets knocked down a lot. But he's a hell of a fighter, and he actually beat Triple G. He hurt Triple G to the body, and the ref kind of when he looked like he maybe about to get him, maybe possibly get a, a knockdown or you know you never know. With like the last 15 seconds of the fight or of that particular round, the ref jumped in and did some weird, some weird shit. But all in all, I say all that's to say Triple G hasn't showed us anything throughout his entire career, except for he was a media creation. They they wanted to have someone to surpass Floyd so bad that they championed this guy triple g they've given him two belts i see he has the ibo and the ibf middleweight title like oh my god really and he's not gonna he's not gonna try to unify he's gonna stay at 160. He, he's gonna dodge uh jamel charlo he 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 doesn't want to get that real test i'm sick of triple g i'm just be honest with you i'm sick of him. I wish he would, would go ahead and retire. If you're not going to take any real fights, he should just quit because it's laughable. You're fighting all these non exit non, non, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Non factors at the weight class over and over and over. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He may get the Canelo fight. He may get a third Canelo fight because Canelo probably feel like, nah, I'll beat him easier even easier i might make him come up the weight or whatever and dictate him because he could dictate he he's been dictating triple g he could continue to dictate him you know make a, a quick buck and i think a lot of people will be tuned in to see if you know he could stop him i like to see triple g get stopped i'm sick of him and you know and let that be that on triple g but with all that said subscribe to the channel like the video and stay tuned, we got more coming. Real ones know George Road Moth, OPM, gone. Is it me that they speak upon? Niggas wanna creep up on respect for me, absent, won't hesitate to sleep me on my